In mathematics, the intersection AB of two sets A and B is the set that contains all elements of A that also belong to B or equivalently, all elements of B that also belong to A, but no other elements. For explanation of the symbols used in this article, refer to the table of mathematical symbols. Topic: <laughs> Basic definition The intersection of two sets A and B, denoted by AB, is the set of all objects that are members of both the sets A and B. In symbols, a B equals x x element of a and x element of B. Display style a cap b equals x x in a text and x in b. That is, x is an element of the intersection a b if and only if x is both an element of a and an element of b. For example, the intersection of the sets 1, 2, 3 and 2, 3, 4 is 2, 3. The number 9 is not in the intersection of the set of prime numbers 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. And the set of odd numbers 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, because 9 is not prime. Intersection is an associative operation, that is, for any sets A, B, and C, one has A, B, C. Topic: A B C intersection is also commutative for any A and B, one has A B. B A it thus makes sense to talk about intersections of multiple sets. The intersection of A, B, C, and D, for example, is unambiguously written A B C D. Inside a universe U one may define the complement A C of A to be the set of all elements of U not in A. Now the intersection of A and B may be written as the complement of the union of their complements, derived easily from De Morgan's laws, A B equals A C B C C equals Topic: Intersecting and disjoint sets. Equals. We say that A intersects meets B at an element x if x belongs to A and B. We say that A intersects meets B if A intersects B at some element. A intersects B if their intersection is inhabited. We say that A and B are disjoint if A does not intersect B in plain language. They have no elements in common. A and B are disjoint if their intersection is empty, denoted A B equals display style A cap B equals Varnoving. For example, the sets 1, 2, and 3, 4 are disjoint, while the set of even numbers intersects the set of multiples of 3 at the multiples of 6. Topic: <laughs> Arbitrary intersections. The most general notion is the intersection of an arbitrary non-empty collection of sets. If M is a non-empty set whose elements are themselves sets, then X is an element of the intersection of M if and only if for every element A of M, X is an element of A. In symbols X element of A element of M A A element of M X Element of a display style left x in big cap underscore a in m a right left tritero left for all a in m x in a right. The notation for this last concept can vary considerably. Set theorists will sometimes write m, while others will instead write a element of m a. The latter notation can be generalized to i element of i i which refers to the intersection of the collection i, i element of i. Here i is a non-empty set, and i is a set for every i in i. In the case that the index set i is the set of natural numbers, notation analogous to that of an infinite product may be seen i equals 1 infinity a i display style big cap underscore i equals 1 caret in a t a underscore i when formatting is difficult, this can also be written A1A2A3. 
This last example, an intersection of countably many sets, is actually very common. For an example, see the article on sigma algebras. Topic: <laughs> Nullary intersection. Note that in the previous section we excluded the case where M was the empty set. The reason is as follows: the intersection of the collection M is defined as the set. See set builder notation. Element of M A equals X A element of M X element of A display style big cap underscore A in M A equals X for all A in M X in A. If M is empty, there are no sets A and M, so the question becomes: Which X's satisfy the stated condition? The answer seems to be every possible x. When m is empty the condition given above is an example of a vacuous truth. So the intersection of the empty family should be the universal set the identity element for the operation of intersection. Unfortunately, according to standard ZFC set theory, the universal set does not exist. A fix for this problem can be found if we note that the intersection over a set of sets is always a subset of the union over that set of sets. This can symbolically be written as a element of M A a element of M A display style big cap underscore a in M A subset big cap underscore a in M A. Therefore, we can modify the definition slightly to a element of M A equals X element of a element of M A a element of M X element of a display style big cap underscore a in M A equals left X in big cup underscore a in M A for all A in M X in A right. Now if M is empty, there is no problem. The intersection is the empty set, because the union over the empty set is the empty set. In fact, this is the operation that we would have defined in the first place if we were defining the set in ZFC, as except for the operations defined by the axioms the power set of a set, for instance, every set must be defined as the subset of some other set or by replacement. See also Complement Intersection graph Logical conjunction Naive set theory Symmetric difference Union Cardinality Iterated binary operation Minhash <laughs>